how to create a title clip with an open shot video editor. Um, start the open shot video editor. You should have seen the video I created earlier how to install it. So um, if you don't know, just watch that one. So start your video editor. Click on title, new title, and then you have on the pull down menu on the upper right corner. Uh, you, uh, you can choose what kind of title themes you want to use. You know, let me just browse through those uh, various titles here: the bubbles, the clouds, the Creative Commons license um, title theme, uh, and then just regular footer header tags titles. Then those uh, nice themes here with those uh, blue shapes in the back. Yeah. A little more than some kind of uh, theme from a scary movie or something, uh, and just black background, or in the regular title, multi line titles. So, okay, let's go all the way to the top and select the bar one, click on create new title, give the title a name, give the title the title, and you see here it displays title mirrored so if you want to see something else down there you enter it right here in my case we'll just leave it the way it is and then you can go into font properties you can select different kind of kind of fonts you know like uh, if this click on ok then you can change the font color and put some dark gray it yeah, looks pretty cool and then you can change the color of the background here um, um, to blue. I don't know what really looks good to blue. I keep it like so. And then you have the, the option here to use the advanced editor. The advanced editor requires that you have Inkscape installed. Um, with the Inkscape, if you have a little bit of knowledge about Inkscape, you can create SVG files. Those are being used here for the tile editors here. I'm not very familiar with Inkscape yet, so maybe in the future I'll make a video if I uh, learned a little bit how to use Inkscape. So, so if you're done with that, if you like the way it looks, then just click on Apply. And then you can drag and drop that video down here. So you snap that uh, child video down in here, and then you can uh, use the size tool, you know, make it longer shorter whatever you want let's make it 15 seconds you can go ahead and uh, basically use the selection tool right click in here and say fade in and out let's say slow now and then if you move the cursor you see it goes in stays and goes out yeah so you have a nice fade in and out effect Let's add another track to it and uh, add a song clip. Let's say the one I use here for my videos. Add this one. Uh, sound snap in here. Then you can use the sizing tool again and adjust your sound, no, your video to the sound like that. And then you go to start. Okay, then we create the effects. We make the right click selection tool, right click on the video clip and say um, fade in and fade out slow. And the music clip, we say fade out slow as well. Okay, so now we go in here. You can see it's fading in, fading out slow. Alright, in out slow. Perfect, cool. So, um, this is basically done. The only last thing it's left to do is to render the video. Um, or to do that, click on that red button up here export the video. And then you give your project a name location where to save it and then you uh, select a profile I will use all then in my preference is the Octiora Forbes codec I'm using the 
DV NTSC and call a high and then just click on export. All right, I hope that um, helped you to create a title uh, clip and in order to make a uh, title clip you can also do a credits with that and um, next video I'm planning to do an open shot video editor uh, to do a scrolling credits like you see in the movies you know scrolling upside down or whatever um, all right uh, hope it helped and please subscribe and see you next time